make sure you lay down a node left stick into this nodes import out port into the walk and then make sure this turns that off if i didn't say that already what is up subscribe hit the like button hit the bell i'm young text youtube and dreams feel free to check out my realistic tutorials for sculptures how to make photorealistic looking scenery all right guys um this is how you do parkour in dreams ps4 with animations if you guys wanted to know how to do this um whenever you're running across the wall make sure the spike that you're parkouring off of is on one side and make sure this cannot be detected unless you jump off of this how you would do that is just make this higher that way you can only get parkouring across the wall if you are jumping off of this the reason you want to do that is because it's easier to do it with one spike instead of having one spike right here and one spike right here if you did it that way you would need to do two different timelines and movers one where the animation is running that way and the character is looking that way and one where the animation is looking this way and then you'll have to have a different type of detection system where uh it can you know tell if you're running this way or that way which is simple you know and you can use two different um ta uh trigger zones for that it's just that i'm just showing you guys how to get all this down the basics all right so pull out a player tag name it player have this detecting this tag, put the output into A, and the B is the button that you want to where it activates your raw wall run. For me, it's square. Put that into B. Put the result into a tag and then into the power of a mover. Have the mover point in the direction you need to run across the wall. Make sure it's perfect near and then the speed that you want it to do it, and then you're done. You'll have to mess around with it for yours. It will be different than mine. Next, make your run animations. Right foot forward, left foot forward. I'll click this so you guys can see what is actually happening. So with a keyframe, make it to where your character is his feet are pointed towards the wall while he's wall running. That's what this is. And then place this in here and expand it. Then put down another keyframe. Make sure this keyframe has no data. And then the one at the end has no data, no recording. But make sure they're all, all the keyframes in here are on linear, set to linear. Then put down a second keyframe and make sure this isn't too long also. Mine's about uh, 50 seconds long. Put a second keyframe right here. Might want to click on this. Then press L1 and X on that second keyframe. And then record, then press L1 and X on your character. And record this foot forward and this foot back and then with the third keyframe is the complete opposite this one forward and this one back and that's all that is that's all that is for that animation and then with this press L1 and X double tap on here and move him the direction that he needs to be to run across the wall then after you move it Press triangle, 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 triangle on the leg areas, and then triangle right here and here. There's two parts of the feet that you have to press triangle on. After you've done that, you are essentially done with this part. The only other thing you need to do with this big keyframe right here, back out, then press L1 and square, go to here and make it to where this eclipses the legs. That way, your character won't clip through the wall. You'll have to do this, change this shape for all the types of parkour areas that require your character to not clip, if that makes sense. So if you're changing where the character's direction of his legs will be, you'll need to make sure that this eclipses that. That way...
he won't clip through the wall. What you'll also want to do with this big keyframe, I want an X on it, then press. I want on square on your character. You might want to go here and turn these two things off. I have this off, and I also have this turned down all the way. With these keyframes, you can also make it to where this stuff turns on while the animations are happening. If you want to mess around with this stuff, you can. And that is how you do the wall run. That's how you do the wall run. Again, this is in B or A, and this uh, your uh, parkour activation is in the B. And that's all it is for uh, parkour. That's all it is um, whenever it comes to running on walls. And the harder part is inside of this microchip. Pull out an AND gate, a NOT gate, a timer, a node, a mover, a look at rotator. This is so that your character will look at the PK tag. If you don't want that, then you can just, you should be able to do this without having those. I mean, you might not even need that. If you don't need that, then probably just do this with all, you, you, then you won't need, you know, that step. With that step, it'll make it to where should make it to where your character might look at the tag, so it's not even looking at the tag, so. I mean, you really, you really don't need that. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and delete that. I mean, make things a whole lot more simple if I just delete this real quick. Yeah, you don't need that. I want to make a camera though, so a, uh, the camera doesn't clip. Polish it up. Um, go ahead and pull out an AND gate. Pull out a keyframe, a keyframe, a node, and or a NOT gate, and a timer. The NOT gate put its output into restart, and input is the jump button. So make sure it makes sure you're holding the X button. So put the X button or your jump button in right here and the not gate into reset. So if you're not holding X, it'll reset this from 0 0.3. You can mess around with this if you want to, to zero if you're not holding the jump button. If you are holding the jump button and you are parkouring, then you are teleport to this tag named PK. So have a teleporter going to the tag named PK. And then this turns on this teleporter. Make sure it's off. This keyframe turns it on, not on keep changes. None of these keyframes should be on keep changes. This one's on 1.1 slow power down and this one's on 0 0.6 slow power up all this keyframe is doing is your animation while you're wobbling on top of the spike that's all this keyframe is so result put that into the power of this 0 0.6 slow power up 1.1 slow power down what this one's doing the slow power down one is if you're actually on the keyframe you can make it to where you can jump higher to where it can reach the uh the trigger zone that allows you to wall run if you wanted to make uh that trigger zone even higher how you would do that make it to where you can jump higher is L1 and square on your character and just raise this as high as you need to as well as this if you want to. Even this if you want to. You might really want to raise that double jump. You might want to have this on zero initially, maybe even also. So whichever ones you want to raise, raise those. This will make it to where you can jump higher if you're on the spike. Just make sure it's on slow power down. 
and you can mess around with the slow power down speed. This AND gate is connected to, jumped into the C and the jump button into the B. Finished is also in the A and the trigger zone is also in the A. You could technically probably put the trigger zone thing into the D if you wanted to have these all in different things, but I decided to put both of these into the A. Seemed to work that way, I guess. You can mess around with doing it that way that I just explained though. This is looking for this tag right here. You could also have the trigger zone right here and have the PK tag in here, technically. You could try doing that. You can also replace the trigger zones with wireless transmitters and receivers. This finish does for this keyframe. It's just an animation. I guess I decided to do this twice. This animation right here appears to be the same animation right here. So just duplicate it and put it in the finished. And that should be it. I don't think this keyframe is doing anything. seems to be working fine just make a sparkle indicator where you can parkour that'll give the player you know visual feedback then again you can raise this up higher if you want to make it to where you can only run on one side you know or parkour on one side and that way it's easier to program everything you know what I'm saying and your nine gates into reset finishes into start Jumped is a C, the B is the jump button, detected, detect this, and the A, timer finished also in the A. Start timer is the result. The reason why both of these are in the A is because that way it won't make your character fall off. I'm guessing. Only other thing, make sure that this turns this on, this keyframe. Only other thing I would like to do is just double check and make sure this keyframe isn't doing anything in here. Just make sure these keyframes aren't doing anything in there. That'll make it to where whenever you're wall running, you can't change the direction in which you wall run. That's about it. You can polish it up a little bit more. Another, uh, the easiest way to polish it up, like there might be some small areas you might be noticing, and that's either because I haven't made this low enough yet or it's because I haven't messed around with how perfect this needs to be yet. The arrow needs to be. But this is it for parkour, and this should be a lot of the questions answered, and I hope this uh, helps out a bunch. And if you have any more questions, just ask me in the comment section below. Um, you can find this in the Dreamverse right now and study it if you want to, and I also have how to sculpt um, dogs and whatnot and all sorts of stuff realistic sculpture to um, tutorial on my channel as well as you can just use it from me for me in the dream verse if you don't want to create it yourself like photorealistic stuff I'll go ahead and show you guys that
and have a good day, guys. Have a good day.